Vermont. Thank you for joining us at 530. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks. President-elect Donald Trump made sweeping promises on the campaign trail to give education choices back to the states. But what would that mean for programs that rely on federal funding? Right now, the U.S. Department of Education manages federal student loans and financial aid programs, runs achievement tests, and enforces civil rights laws against discrimination. State and local governments carry most of the burden to pay for education, and that's where our Lucy Kale picks up the story. She joins us now in the studio. Vermont is not overly reliant on federal funds. According to the Agency of Education, the state disperses about $100 million of federal grant programs annually, making up about 10% of district's funding. But an education researcher I spoke with says major changes could disproportionately affect some of the most vulnerable Vermont students. Where you're gonna see the most effect will be in your lower income areas because they get the most federal dollars. Evan Eardberg with Proximity Learning works with schools in 30 different states from urban to rural areas. He says he's watching the president-elect's education policies closely, especially his proposal to close the Department of Education. He says it's unlikely the department would close entirely, but that doesn't rule out the limitation of federal funds. A lot of that money goes towards high poverty schools and students with disabilities. And if those are cut, schools and communities will need to find ways to fund those programs. The Vermont as a state is going to need to increase funding for education in order to offset um, what the federal government takes away. Vermont's education agency says it distributes over $100 million in federal grants annually, accounting for only a small percentage of Vermont's total education funding. And there is a federal grant that we receive. It's about 10% of the overall cost for special education, which comes from the federal government. The president-elect also proposed banning certain diversity and inclusion education in schools. The director of equity and inclusion at the Essex Westford School District says that could be hard to undo. I think it's important for people to remember that we have anti-discrimination laws on the books. We have civil rights laws on the books. Those are passed by Congress. They're passed by our Vermont legislature. Um, and those can't just be undone. Despite threatening to dismantle the education department, President-elect Trump has tapped tapped former WWE CEO and SBA ambassador Linda McMahon to lead it. Reporting in the studio, Lucy Kale, Channel 3 News.